make my living largely in daytime television, but it's weird in my house, we actually eat a lot kind of in the middle of the night. If I'm taping, quite frankly, if we're doing three shows, I'm not home until 7.30 or so. Dinner doesn't hit the table until nine or later. My husband's favorite go-to is carbonara, bacon and egg spaghetti. Now, if you're out partying with your friends and you kind of stumble in through the front door, it is something you do not need a lot of skill to prepare. And it is super delicious and very sexy. So if you're bringing somebody home with you, they'll be very impressed that you're making something. So you just boil up spaghetti. You're gonna save a little of that starchy cooking water. And all you gotta do is take some egg yolks. If you're not at your best because of what you've been doing all night, don't try and separate the egg. Just crack it on the counter and let the white just all mush on out. You throw the yellow part in a dish, do that a couple of times. And you're gonna take a little starchy cooking water from the spaghetti cooking up and temper the egg. You're gonna drain the pasta and you're gonna brown up some bacon or pancetta, that's what we have here. And you're going to add the spaghetti to the crispy bacon. I like lots of garlic and black pepper, but the essentials are the bacon and the eggs. So you add the spaghetti to the crispy bacon with the garlic and the black pepper, pour in the egg mixture with the hot water and lots of cheese. We like pecorino, you can use grated parm. Toss it all together, looks like this. Very sexy to eat it right out of the pan with two forks. A lot of people where I work are from Ohio. If you guys don't know what an Ohio nacho is, you've been missing out on a lot. Ohio nachos are warm potato chips. You come home, you take some sturdy, you know, big ridgy chips, put them on a baking sheet, heat them up in the oven. I've got them on a little baking tray here. Make a little cheese sauce, just like you're making mac and cheese. You know, just flour, butter, add some milk to it. Whisk that all together, it'll thicken up. Throw in a ton of cheddar or any easy melting cheese you have on hand. Monterey Jack, most people have Jack or American or cheddar somewhere in the fridge. Make your little cheese sauce, pour that over the top, hit it with blue cheese crumbles, and then you make it taste like buffalo wing. Douse it with some hot sauce. Maybe you wanna serve a little crunchy carrot or celery stick on the side. If you're bringing a bunch of people home, that's a really fun twist up on nachos to have. And again, don't need a lot of skill to be able to prepare it. If all else fails, all times you should be able to make amazing grilled cheese sandwiches. You wanna know the tricks to making perfect grilled cheese every time? Lightly butter the outside of the bread. Don't just throw butter in the skillet. That way you get even butter distribution. And if you wanna be really cheeky, put cheese inside. You can also press it into a little bit of parm cheese. Then you end up with a parm crust on the outside of the sandwich and whatever cheese you like on the inside. Panini presses are a really fun investment too. You can get them everywhere from the Target to the fanciest of cooking stores. And then you just slap any sandwich in there and make it melty good in no time. If you can't make a sandwich, you really should just go straight to bed at that point. I'm honored to teach you how to late night feast on First We Feast Snack School.